My goals are to make these existing aquaponic systems the most beautiful and productive that I can. I plan on raising freshwater prawn, tilapia, rainbow trout, and channel catfish. There are two systems here, a warm water temperature one and a cool water temperature one. Why two systems? Because of fish selection. Heating water takes a lot of energy. Prawns and tilapia thrive in warm water, so their tank has to be heated in my climate. While a trout needs cool water temperature, which makes it possible to have trout in a natural outdoor system in the winter months where I live. Channel catfish are the best fish for my climate because they can tolerate a wide range of water temperature. So that's why only one system needs to be heated. Lots of work needs to be done. Clean up, more filtration will be added for the stocking density, new substrates for the freshwater prawns, separate living areas for different size fingerlings just to start. Let's start with the cool temperature system. This pump needs to be cleaned. A cover is needed to minimize algae growth and this pond needs to be cleaned. Additional filtration is needed, a radio filter and a biofilter these two meter grow beds will not be sufficient. The filters will probably go on both sides of this grow bed. One will go here where the tomato plant used to be and one will go here where the citrus tree is in the green container. This is the warm water temperature system. It has a swirl filter and a biofilter the playhouse was insulated and turned into a fish tank using pond liner. These prawn substrates need to come out and altered to make them smaller and easier to put in and take out. This is a solids lift out pipe. Prawns will live at the bottom two feet of this tank while tilapia fingerlings will live at the top part in separate drums cut with holes drilled at the bottom. The 12 inch tall sections of drum then will rest on the prawn substrates and supported by poles on the sides of the tank. Ventilation is needed to prevent mold. Another opening is needed on the back side of this tank. After all the work is done, add water and filter material from an, an existing aquaponic system to help speed up cycling. Then add fish and plants and watch them grow. These are my plans to reach my goals of making this the most beautiful and productive aquaponic systems that I can. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow the progress of this project, please subscribe and click on the little bell for notifications so you don't miss out on an update. I hope to see you soon. Bye.